Jeez. Yo. Okay, that was a beautifully sloppy good fight on ESPN Plus. Um, female, one hundred and eighteen pound bantamweight, bantamweights. Notably, Ebony Bridges last week defeated. Hold on, my bad. I'm trying to get a look at the venue. But yo, the atmosphere was um was amazing. I know people are gonna be like like you know gonna be talking shit about these ladies, but I enjoyed the fight. And and for here, let me mute this. And for a night like where basically it's not that much boxing on. Well, I mean, not no boxing on outside of the um, Savannah Marshall fight. Of course, the uh, Final Four tonight. Uh, I have WrestleMania on the TV. And basically, you know, ESPN picked up this female boxing card from uh, Mexico with a, uh, how do you pronounce her name? A Yuli Han. Hold on, let me get you some highlights. Yuli Han. There you go. The tall one is Julianne. But yeah, they were scrapping. There was a lot of headbutts, though. Headbutt City. Headbutt City. Look at that cut. And you don't see a lot of cuts in women's boxing. Like, not, not a lot. Ooh. Seductive. Um... Here, let me take a jump cut before we talk about the uh, fighters. and We'll be right back. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Don't be surprised if Eddie Hearn signs up one of these fighters to fight Ebony Bridges in the future. Because um, this is for the WBC title. Bantamweight title. 122, my bad. No, this is 118. Flores is the one in the red. That that that's this is Luna right here. That's Luna. It says she's listed at five foot on box rack, but she looks taller than five foot. And this is uh Mayali Flores. But why does it look like she's supposed to be? Are the names messed up? Fantastic fight from both ladies. Something seems fishy here. Oh, and the stream ESPN Plus been cutting out too sometimes. I thought that was Robert Downey Jr. in the back. Iron Man with the white suit on. My. Can somebody translate the score for me? Okay, that's Luna. I'm looking, that's her. See? Yeah, nice solid uh female boxing fight. Um, to talk about the division a little bit. I'm gonna mute this. If they give her a post fight interview, I won't be the you know what the hell they're saying. I can understand, you know, some Spanish. But speaking it, uh, nah, nah. That, that's just that's just no good for me. Um, looking at, damn, they got nobody on the card. Looking at, um, is that the uh, Chicano Sean Gibbons? My bad, you didn't see it. But yo, this was a good fight. Ooh, you peeped that? Like, they were going at it. It was a lot of headbutts, though. Cause the, the the shorter one was leading with her head, you know, and plus she's she's listen, what was the height? Like 
good solid night of um um solid night of boxing. Maybe I'm just saying that because I'm just you know with the boxing degenerate, you know I couldn't just go one night uh Saturday night without covering boxing, especially since we got so many fights coming up. But yo, these ladies were thrown down. They were thrown down. Um, Jamie Mitchell, she's supposed to be fighting um, Shannon Courtenay again. Dana Thorsland, she is fighting next week. I believe this is a pro bellum card. She is the WBO champion. Ebony Bridges, which one did she win? Did she win the IBF? WBA. She won, no, it was the IBF. And which one does Jamie Mitchell have again? So basically, don't be surprised if Eddie Hearn signs this girl up because she's got that belt and he has in his stable. So Jamie Mitchell is the WBA. Ebony Bridges. Jamie Mitchell, the WBA. Ebony Bridges is the IBF. Dana Thorslin is the WBO. And then you have Luna, who's the WBC. Yeah, it's time to unify that. So looking from what I've seen from her tonight, she may be able to beat Ebony Bridges because she's a boxer. She's got the height. She can box. You know, but we saw what was going on with, um, I forgot the girl that Ebony Bridges beat. Lord, what's her name again? Memory is shot. Oh, Maria Mar Roman. Maria Roman just started too late. And in my opinion, Ebony Bridges had lost to Malise Gangloff. But I think that Ebony Bridges is getting good. Like she's improving each fight. So I'm thinking that she can beat um, uh, Gangloff in the rematch, definitely. She's getting better. And I, I'm, I would pick her to beat Shannon Courtney in the rematch. You know? So we'll see how it plays out. I'm T Street Controversy with Fight View 360. Take time out. Like the video, subscribe. Congrats to those ladies. They were thrown down. And they were the main event.